Hello, you beautiful souls. Good morning. I kind of ended last video on a cliffhanger with this specific thing. I was looking for an advent calendar for like the mini Funko Pops and I ended up just buying it online because I thought maybe that my local Target just hadn't put them out yet. But then when I got home, my mom was like looking also. So she was like, oh my gosh, like it's almost sold out like pretty much everywhere. I ended up just buying it online for pickup. That's a Target that is closer to my grandma's house. And then it actually worked out because last night my grandma called me to see if I wanted to come over today. She's actually getting ready, getting ready to sell her house. She's been talking about it for years but I think my grandfather hasn't been doing the absolute best and so she's kind of trying to move it forward a little bit. So yeah, that's what the plan is. I'm going to Target, picking up this advent calendar and then I'm going to my grandmother's house to uh, do whatever at her place and whatever else the day brings us. I literally sat in my car, I haven't even opened up the bag yet. But guys, look what I got! I got it. I could not be happier. Okay, so it's Disney Pixar Monsters. So Monsters Inc. slash University, I guess. Wally, -E, The Incredibles, and Toy Story. I think I'm most excited for Monsters and Toy Story. The Incredibles, I'm actually gonna be really salty if I get a lot of Incredible ones. Unless they're, they might be evenly distributed. I'm gonna be a little bit upset if I get a bunch of Incredibles ones, only because I've never even seen the Incredibles, honestly. But I'm so excited. Anyways, look forward to this in Vlogmas. You know how tempted I am to open it, but I'm not going to open it. But I'm really tempted to. Now we are going to my grandmother's house. We're gonna help her, I guess, get prepared to sell her house. I don't think I've seen it since she kind of started getting prepared. I might cry. I'm just kidding, I don't think I'll cry. Super huge warp. It's like 7 p.m. and I just got home, put on sweatpants, talked to my parents a little bit, and I'm sitting down and editing. Long day at my grandmother's house, but definitely much needed. Um, I'm trying to think of my timeline here. I thought that I had my timeline right, but I'm actually off by a week. So this video will go live the week before my trip. So I'm not gonna say anything in this video, but we are going on a trip. So not next video, but the video after that. Dude, we're already almost halfway through October. Time flies by so fast and it's kind of starting to like kill me. I used to have a tripod for this camera and I lost it. I don't know where it went. And it's starting to drive me crazy only because I have a phone mount that's attached to that tripod. So I don't have my good phone mount or my tripod that works for this camera. The other thing that I was gonna say is part of my talking with my parents when I got home was giving them the advent calendar and having them hide it because I know myself well enough to know that if that advent calendar is in front of me, or in my room or honestly anywhere that I know that it is, I will fully open it and we won't have it for Vlogmas. We'll have it for a day in October. Hello, you beautiful souls. Good, beautiful morning. Happy Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Man, I really thought about just not filming today because I have literally not a single thing planned, but I'm glad I am filming because it's Wednesday. Anyways, I have literally just been hanging out today with zero plan for the day. There is like, I'm trying to think of how to word this. There's not a lot of moving parts in my life right now, but at the same time, whoa, you can see my scar. I feel like you haven't been able to see my scar in a while. Okay, anyways, there's a lot of moving parts, but none at all at the same time, if that makes any sense at all. It's weird. It's a, it's, I'm, I, I don't know. It's weird. That's all, that's really all I have to say about it. Completely, completely different note. I talked about this a little while ago, about how I've had like this obsession with plants more recently. A lot of my plants have not, not succeeded. But I guess technically four of my plants that have worked and done really well are my four avocado plants. So I have literally four avocado plants right here that have been doing so good, shockingly enough. Like that is an avocado. This is 
the start of an avocado. Two of them are doing like super well. The other two are still doing well, but they're definitely moving a lot slower than the other ones are. But yeah, I said, I swear like five videos ago now, I said I would show y'all and I never have. Now I finally remembered. So I've been growing those avocados for probably the beginning of August, end of July. It's been a fairly slow process, but I've actually enjoyed it so much. I suck at keeping plants alive. So having plants that I'm not killing super quick and easily is a uh, it's great, it's kind of rewarding. I am pretty sure that it literally takes like 12 years or something like that. It's like a crazy amount of time to actually get an avocado from an avocado plant. From what I've heard, that kind of sucks. Good, beautiful morning, you beautiful soul. It's bright and early. It's, no, it's not, I lied. I still haven't fixed my camera issue here. I need to stop like lollygagging in the morning. Usually I'm doing stuff, but this morning I did nothing. I've been watching the Menendez Brothers, I don't know if it's considered a documentary, but like show um, on Netflix. It's the same type of vibe as they did with the Dahmer series. So I'm watching the Menendez Brothers ones also, and I heard that they came out with a like interview with the brothers from jail and I really want to watch that but since I had already started like I was already like an episode or two into the Netflix show I was like oh I should probably finish the Netflix show first and then I'll go on to watch the actual interview with the actual brothers regardless we got Starbucks I got the girls pub cups they're promised it every Monday this week is pretty mellow it's Monday I didn't film enough last week I don't think to make a full video so here we are now. The girls have their Halloween sweaters on. Now it's October, we're halfway through October. I decided it was time. They're gonna be super antsy for their pup cups. So we're gonna go inside. The girls have their pup cups. Now we have one errand to run right now and that is to the library. I finished this book and we're gonna talk about it. Here's the deal. I've read more books this year alone than I have in my entire life. I talk about just about all of them, about whether I like them, what I do and don't like, whatever, whether I recommend them or not. I just talk about books. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy reading now after going my entire life hating it. But here's the thing, of all the books that I've read lately, none have made me cry. Just the book, no movies. Like, It Ends With Us became a movie and I cried when I saw the movie, which I never even talked about going to see it in the video, but whatever. I cried during the movie, but during the book, I don't know. I think I kind of like teared up, but I never actually cried. I read Reminders of Him, and I read it in two days, and I nearly sobbed. I could have sobbed. I didn't, but I was crying. Like this book pulled at my heartstrings so desperately. I think this one's my favorite. My favorite was Ugly Love for a long time, for a while, but this one's my favorite. This one is like, you want your heartstrings pulled or whatever, read this book. It's one of those books where you kind of know how the ending's gonna be. I don't know, it's like, I would describe it as like, it was pretty predictable, right? Like, you know kind of what the storyline, well, at the be very beginning, it's not predictable. But as you read on, you know, like, the basis of how this story is gonna go, right? It's like, you know what the conflict in the book is gonna be, and you know what the resolution of the book is gonna be. But it was still so good, even while, like, fully expecting what was happening. And I, I just can't, I can't explain it. That was, that book was it. Obviously, five stars. I was hooked. I read it in two days. That's the fastest I've ever read a book. I have my next book picked out. But when I finished that last book, Reminders of Him, the library wasn't open and I really wanted to just read. So I actually started reading the first Twilight book. Whether I'll finish it before I read another book or not, I don't know. Especially because I love Twilight. So I'm reading it and as I'm reading it, I'm comparing it to the movie, which I need to just stop doing. I think I would like the book a lot more if I didn't compare it to the movie, but I am comparing it to the movie. And so because of that, I don't like the book so far. I'm only like 100 pages in or something. I just started it yesterday. So it's hard to say. There's still so much reading to do with it. But that's how I feel right now. Is like I'm comparing it to the movie so much. And I don't like it as much as the movie. So it's a little bit of a struggle. But I think I'm going to keep reading it 
It's either that or another book, which I would probably get today or tomorrow. So it'll be in, either in this video or the next, probably. But I don't know, we'll see. For now, we're reading Twilight. Oh my gosh, another tea? I've been doing our, our Christmas, I was about to say our Christmas outfits, our Halloween costumes. That's to come, that's to come, I'm so excited. Quick jump, we're going to the grocery store. Every time I'm editing, or even when I say it, I question how I say gro grocery. I think it's grocery, but I say grocery. Now that I put it out, everybody's gonna notice it, but like, it drives me crazy. Anyways, we're going shopping. And tonight for dinner, we're making chicken fajitas. So, usually when I make dinner, I try to remember to put the recipe in the description, especially if it's good. I usually fail at that, unless it's like super good. This one, there is literally no recipe. Um, there's a store that I don't think is a nationwide store, but it's called Valley, and it just has like these pre-marinated chicken fajitas and so that's what's for dinner these glasses are worse than normal and then i'm gonna make cilantro lime rice again which i made a couple of weeks ago and then we also have to stop at the pet store to get toothpaste for the dogs but it's kind of low-key chilly i am dreading the fact that winter is coming up i already made dinner already ate all of that and now i have a bunch of clothes that i never folded last week when i did laundry so here we are now. I fully thought I folded all my clothes. I knew I had my smallest load, which is my colors that weren't folded because I never took them out of the dryer. I also have some clothes in this basket behind me that I was gonna give to somebody, but then they just decided that they didn't want them anymore, I guess. I also have this box here, which is um, just clothes that I'm giving away because I don't wear them anymore. They don't fit me anymore. I don't know. It's hard knowing when clothes do or don't fit me anymore because my weight like fluctuates like literally pretty much day to day. We all remember my black socks, I think. I ordered them and then I was still waiting on another pair of socks. Those finally came. Don't like them as much. But the issue is that I don't remember if these are the boyfriend socks or the girlfriend socks. But regardless, either way, I do not like them as much. Oh, there's the other one. When I went to the pet store, oh my gosh, she's already chewing. Ew! I'm gonna spare the details on that one. Anyways, when I went to the pet store, they had these two little Halloween. And it felt like they matched the girls' dresses really well, so... Here we go. Two new toys for them. I have all these foam pieces. And this is from, I don't even know how many years ago. Don't really know what to do with them. So I think what I'm gonna do is put them over on this wall. Just get my room to echo less. Okay, I wouldn't say that it looks good, but I wouldn't say that it looks bad either. She a little questionable though. Either way though, Miss Rita girl has not been feeling very well today. So it's about nine o'clock. I just looked at my wrist like I had a watch on. I am literally gonna lay in bed, read my book with Miss Rita girl here. Honestly, probably be knocked out in the next like 30 to 45 minutes. Little munchkin, I don't know what's bothering her, but yeah, I don't think she's feeling very good today. Hopefully tomorrow she'll be better. <laughs> 